Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful floral fall wreath. So this is actually inspired by a tutorial I saw from Michael's Craft Store. I will put a link for that tutorial below. There were a few things um, about this tutorial that I really liked that I wanted to share with you guys. This wreath is made using an embroidery hoop and a bouquet of flowers. And I thought it just turned out really pretty and I wanted to kind of show you how I put this all together. So let's grab a few things and get started. The first thing you're going to need is an embroidery hoop. I love using an embroidery hoop for a wreath because they're not expensive, they're fairly easy to find, and you can easily dress them up by giving them a nice coat of paint. So I will be using a 12 inch hoop for my wreath. The paint I'll be using for my embroidery hoop is this metallic color called gunmetal. Um, I love the idea of using a metallic paint on the embroidery hoop. It just makes it look super polished and you could use any color of metallic, a gold or a bronze or um, a champagne color. And then I have a little foam brush or you could use a paintbrush. I have some ribbon that matches the color of the paint. This, um, the paint and the ribbon are the same ones used in that Michael tutorial. I will put links for everything below. And then a bouquet. Okay, let me explain to you why I think this is so genius. So by buying a bouquet of flowers, it gives you all of the elements you need for the wreath. It gives you your main focal points. It gives you um, your fillers. It gives you leaves. It really is everything you need to make a well-balanced, pretty wreath in one bouquet. It is also less expensive to buy it this way. So instead of buying all of the individual little pieces to put your wreath together, you have everything you need in one purchase. Here's another example of some flowers that you could use. Once again, it gives you your fillers, it gives you your main flowers, and I just thought this was such a great way to make a wreath, and I thought it would be a fun way to make holiday wreaths as well. I've got some wire cutters to help me cut the bouquet apart. I have a sharp pair of scissors, and I have my glue gun set on low. You will be using a lot of glue in this tutorial, so I have some extra glue sticks on hand as well. Okay, let's get started. So the first step, I'm going to be using the inside ring of this embroidery hoop. So I just take it apart and I set the other piece aside to use for another wreath. Now I'm going to grab my paint and I'm actually doing this on a piece of freezer paper. So I just put the paint right on the surface of the freezer paper and I'm giving it a nice coat of the paint. I let it dry and I would do two or maybe even three coats of the paint to make sure it's nicely covered. Then while that's drying, I'm going to take apart my flowers. So I'm using my wire cutters and also my scissors to just pull everything apart. And I'm going to put all of the flowers in one pile, all the leaves in one pile, and just kind of separate them by the different things that are in the bouquet. So I have everything completely pulled apart here. And it's crazy how many items this gives you to actually put in the wreath. I actually have leftover leaves. Then I'm gonna pull out my two biggest flowers because I want those to be my focal point. And I'm going to start from there. So I'm gonna take those two flowers and I'm going to kind of decide how I want them arranged. I know I want them as the main part of my wreath, so they're gonna be right in front in the middle. So when my hoop is dried, I lay it down and I start arranging the flowers um, in different ways. So I decided to do a grouping of three on one side, the red flower and two of the smaller flowers, and then the kind of pink flower with the bigger yellow flower on the other side. So it gives me a balanced middle portion of my wreath. Now I am actually doing this on a piece of freezer paper because I'll be using a lot of glue and I don't want the glue to get all over my table. A cutting board is also a great um, thing that you could put behind your wreath. And I have those all laid out where I want them and now I'm going to start gluing them down. So I do use quite a bit of the glue and I'm just gonna glue the back of the flower I'm also going to put a little bit of glue directly on the wreath where I want the flower to go, and then I hold it down until that glue sets. I found that the first couple flowers that I put down were the hardest to get to attach to the wreath, but then after that, you can start kind of gluing the things to each other. So once I got two flowers securely down, I was able to glue the other flowers to the wreath and that first flower, making it more stable. So you can see we have our middle element of our wreath done. And now I knew I wanted to put one sprig of the little blueberries on each side. So I grabbed some of the leaves. I cut the leaves into um, doubles and singles. 
because most of the leaves were attached in a grouping of four. So I'm just taking some of the leaves and the berries and putting them on both sides. Once again, working to keep it balanced, make sure that that's nice and secure. And then I'm going to grab my green leaves. There were only six of the green leaves. So I'm going to put three on each side. And I kind of spent a little bit of time deciding where I wanted those wreaths to, or the leaves to go. And then once I had it figured out, I put a little dab of glue. I added my green leaves. And it's good to hold up the wreath every so often and see if you like how everything's laying. And once I have those secure on both sides, I'm going to go back through and fill in all of the empty spots with some of the orange colored leaves. One of the reasons I did the orange leaves at the end was because that was what I had the most of in the bouquet. And I wanted it to be the filler behind everything so that those flowers in the front would stand out more. And you can see from the back how some of those leaves are actually attached to the flowers that we first put down. And I just love how this turned out, you guys. It's so pretty. I love these colors together. Now we're going to add some ribbon to the top. So I grabbed a piece of ribbon that was about three feet long and I folded it in half and I'm going to loop it around the embroidery hoop by taking the folded edge, holding it over the hoop, and then pulling the ends through. And then I'm going to tie a knot at the top to secure it so we can hang our wreath. And then I grab a lighter and just singe the ends of that satin ribbon to melt it so it doesn't fray. And you can tie this in a bow at the top if you'd like. I just tied it in a simple knot. And that's it, you guys, we're all set. We have this gorgeous, floral fall wreath. Most craft stores sell bouquets for the different seasons, so this is a great way to have a lot of fun different wreaths for different holidays without spending a ton of money. Please let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more tutorials like this or even more specific holiday wreaths. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Comments and questions go below. If you haven't subscribed, please do. That would be awesome. I have a lot of fun projects coming out for the holidays and I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for all of your support and we'll see you next time.